Land Rover set me the challenge of building a paper bridge that he could drive a full Range Rover over the top of. Just made of paper with no nuts and bolts, no screws, no glue. It's a daunting task. This area of Suzhou is noted for bridges and Jiangsu province in particular has, has lots of historic bridges as, as we have here. But also China has this narrative about paper, it invented paper. So putting the bridges of paper together, China is very much kind of the place to do this piece. So the way that the bridge is built is exactly the same, same way as a stone bridge is built. You've just got layers and layers and layers and layers and layers. Because it's a self-supporting arch. And what that means is it takes the, the horizontal forces, the force at the top, get transferred into lateral forces. So the weight at the top travels down the arch and then pushes out at the abutments. So if the abutments are solid, then you can put as much weight on the top. I'm the first one in the world to drive the vehicle to go over the paper bridge. The Run Rover has been chosen for this challenge to celebrate the 45 years of vehicle history. You know what? We never tested a vehicle on a paper bridge before, and the grip of the bridge, um, we don't know. So, especially the bridge is very steep, so it's, um, it will challenge the car's uh, off-road capabilities. We need to get the paper as tight as we can across the whole thing. We need to get seven tons of tension on every single sheet of paper so it needs to be even right across. I'm hungry, I'm tired, but also really, really happy. I mean, this is it's a fantastic thing to do. You know, we've built a bridge with, you know, nothing but paper, it's just paper. Um, you know, we've put a, a, a whole range of over the top of it, and it, uh, it's, it's an incredible achievement and fantastic.